Your smartphone ought to be smarter. Why can't it tell you where you parked your car? Why can't it remind you to pick up the milk that your spouse texted you about? And in fact, why can't it figure out that you're flying to New York in two months and you should call your college roommate and you should book show tickets in advance and don't forget to check out that cupcake place that you really loved the last time? These are the kind of crazy questions that God is started on Google Now. As Sundar talked about, we're working hard to figure out how we can assist users in a mobile world. Since we first launched, we brought more and more useful information to you. The last train home in Tokyo. A new open house in your neighborhood. And yes, even a reminder for where you parked your car. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the problem. progress we've made, and what's coming next. So look, to assist you, we need to be able to do three things really well. One, understand your context. Two, bring you answers proactively. And three, help you take action, get stuff done. So let's talk about the first thing. Context. Now context has multiple dimensions, where you are, what you're doing, and what you care about. And in a different context, you need different things. Say you're at Disneyland, the information that you need, how long are the lines, what are the most popular rides, how do you deal with a six-year-old on a sugar rush, how do you deal with it? <laughs> it's very different from, say, you're vegging out on a lazy Sunday. But you know, context is also about getting what you're saying. When does it open? How long does it take to get there? When does my flight leave? And we've made some great progress here. We have built up a natural language understanding engine like Sundar talked about, but we've also built up this powerful context engine. And we understand more than 100 million places. Not just their physical layout and geometry, but also interesting things like when are they busy, when are they open, and what are you likely to need when you're there? Once we understand context, we then want to proactively bring you answers. You're on your way to the airport, rushing to return the rental car. And so we'll tell you, here are the nearest gas stations. Fill that gas tank on your route. Or you're interested in a baseball team. We'll get you the score. We'll get you the upcoming schedule. We'll get you news. 
So how do we do this? This is where Google's knowledge graph comes in pretty handy. So the knowledge graph is Google's understanding of the world and all the things in it. In fact, we have over one billion entities. Things like baseball teams, gas stations, TV shows, cocktail recipes, the works. So this can power a lot of useful answers for you. We talked about context. We talked about answers. The third thing we want to be able to do, if you want to assist you, is help you take action. Get stuff done. And you know, in a mobile world, you get stuff done with apps. Play music, order a cab, buy groceries. So we just started a pilot program with over 100 partners where we proactively surface actions and information from apps in Google Now. So when you land at the airport, you can order an Uber or a Lyft. In the context of your commute, you can play your Pandora station. Or this is my favorite, you can reorder groceries instantly with a Now card from Instacart. We're very excited about all this progress. But you know what? Your smartphone still ought to be smarter. You spend lots of time on the phone looking for information, jumping between tasks. And we asked ourselves, how can we get you quick answers to quick questions without leaving context? How can we help you get things done in as few steps as possible? So we're working on a new capability to assist you in the moment right when you need it, wherever you are on the phone. We're calling it Now on Tap. So Now on Tap, as Dave mentioned, takes advantage of new functionality in the Android M release. So it'll be rolling out in M. And I want to give you a quick preview of what it looks like, what it can do for you when you turn the feature on. So I have Neil up here with me, a hot off the press demo. So you want to see it in action? Yes? All right, let's do it. So here he's listening to Skrillex. And you wonder, like me, what is his real name? OK, Google, what's his real name? Skrillex's full name is Sonny John Moore. Who knew? Quick answer to quick question without having to switch context. Oh, a notice also, he could say his real name. Now, it's obvious to you and me who Neil is referring to, but thanks to the context of what you're looking at and the natural language understanding, it's obvious to now as well. But like I said, it's not just about understanding context. It's about bringing you answers proactively. So let's look at another example. So here. You see an email from my friend Ali about catching a movie. I don't know much about the movie. I want to find out more. So all I have to do is a simple tap and hold on the home button. Google now brings me information about Tomorrowland. <laughs> Remember the knowledge graph. Remember the knowledge graph we were talking about? Thanks to that, we know Tomorrowland is not just a string of characters. It's not just a word. It's a movie. A movie has reviews, ratings, actors, actresses, etc. Now, the reviews, they're kind of OK. But let's be honest. I know it does have George Clooney, so I'm going to watch it anyway. <laughs> but you, know, you can easily watch the trailer on YouTube. You can check out the cast list on IMDb or the Rotten Tomatoes score on Flickster. I want to show you another example of how you can take action in the moment with Now on Tap. So this time, let's go to Viber. So by the way, Now on Tap works in a variety of apps. The app itself doesn't have to make any modifications. It's pretty nice. Um, so in this case, you see a message from my husband about dinner plans. Oh, and of course, he forgot to pick up dry cleaning. So it's on me. Again. With a simple tap and hold on the home button, you get help. But I want to point out a couple things going on here. So first, just like the movie, you saw nice information, instant information about the restaurant, reviews, ratings, even how to book a table. But check this. 
Google now created a smart reminder card for me to pick up that dry cleaning. Now, the user in me is pretty happy, but I have to say the computer scientist in me is practically giddy with excitement here because that's some like epic natural language understanding action going on here. <laughs> pretty neat. So let's look at what happened here. So when you tap and hold on the home button, you're telling Google now, hey, here's something I need help with. Use this context. And Google now uses this context and brings you back relevant answers. But as you might have noticed, it's not just about answers. It's also apps. So what does it mean for developers? Yep. This is a new way that you can reach and re-engage with users when you're relevant to users in the moment once your app is indexed by Google. So while we are here, let's go tap on Open Table so you can see how you can jump in. And notice, we took you right to the specific restaurant in the app. You know, fudging with the phone. And I want to show you a quick, subtle, but cool thing while we're here. So let's switch to the menu. And that second dish there sounds good. Kind of hard to pronounce for me. And, um, but I want to see how it looks like. OK, Google. Show me pictures of Spanaco Tiropita. Pictures of Spanakotaropita. Here you go. <laughs> Neil also had pro trouble pronouncing it clearly. But thanks to the context of the words on the menu, Google now was able to recognize it and get me what I want. It's not just apps, though. Now can assist you in the moment, even when you're on the web. So for this last example, let's switch to Chrome. OK, here's an article about Hugh Laurie heading to Weep, my favorite TV show. I know a lot about Weep, way more than I should, really, but not a lot about Hugh. So yes, I can you know, fiddle with the phone, open a new tab, back at the keyboard, or I can tap on Hugh, and I get information about Hugh Laurie. Pretty cool. I can check out movies and other TV shows he's been in. Oh, there's Tomorrowland again. I have to watch it. But the nice thing here is that you could get information instantly. In all these examples, be it the article you're reading, the music you're listening to, the message you're replying to, the key is understanding the context of the moment. Once now has that understanding, it's able to get you quick answers to quick questions, help you get things done wherever you are on the phone. And for developers, like we said, it's a new way for you to reach and re-engage with users. We'll share a lot more details over the next few months. That was just a quick preview of Google Now on Android M. When it comes to mobile, there's another key area where users need a lot of assistance managing a lot of information. Yep, photos. So tell you about how we are applying machine learning and intelligence to that critical area. I'm going to hand it off to Anil. Thank you. Not too long ago, my eldest daughter, Ava, graduated from preschool. <laughs> it was a pretty fun day, and of course we wanted to capture the moment. So my wife took some photos, 312 to be exact. 